Good afternoon, I'm CW5 Pat Nulligan. I'm the Command Chief of the Army Reserve at beautiful Fort McCoy. I've been blessed to be able to get out today and see Global Medic and CSTX hosted by our very own 86 Training uh, Division. Been able to see soldiers in the field doing what they actually signed up to do, medical, strategic planning, opt for, support, and uh, it's been remarkable. So in my opinion, Global Medics and CSTX combined do something unique that's not really available on the civilian side. You have strategic planners looking at a threat. In this particular case, it's a mock uh, country that's invading another. That's the CSTX side and how all the elements come together to plan to defend and eventually beat the adversary. And Global Medics speaks for itself. You're putting medical support in theater and then all the echelons required as a casualty would be evacuated from theater and the medical intervention uh, that would be needed. One of the challenges of being ready for combat is not having the actual bullets flying in the scenarios where you're pushed to the limit and don't know that uh, there is an out. So what happens with the CSTX at Fort McCoy is you really go out to the field and you live in an austere environment and that's it. You're completely immersed into an area where it's uh, a reproduction of what you could actually find yourself if we actually had to go to war. So the, the 86 Training Command and what they've been able to host here and the types of skills that have come together are exactly what our young soldiers are telling us they want to keep, it, to keep them in uniform. Having something held like this, putting the soldiers into the field for an extended period of time brings back that squad level type of interaction, friends for life, reliant on each other, and that's the kind of things that keep soldiers in uniform long term. And other people, <clears throat> specifically citizens that look at what the Army's capable of giving, look at this and go, man, they had a great experience. I'd like to be part of that. So we do the retention of who we have in uniform now, and this is truly the recruiting model we need to get out into the field, into the recruiting aspects of Army Reserve Careers Division and United States Army Recruiting Command. Come do stuff like we're doing because it's really fun and it has value added for life skills. So I'd like to say on behalf of Lieutenant General Daniels, Command Sergeant Major Lombardo and myself and all the senior leadership of the Army Reserve, it's been great coming out here. The soldiers have done a fantastic job. This is the last day of the exercise. They're looking forward to going home and they're going to have lifetime memories based on what they did here.